In one shot AF mode, the camera will pick the point or points to focus on the nearest part of your subject that has good detail. With moving subjects, select AI Servo AF. Here, automatic AF point selection lets you track a subject and follow it even if it moves to different areas of the frame. Point selection. What you got on the 7D camera that we didn't have before is the ability with automatic point selection to pick a starting point when you're in servo autofocus. So when you had the, the, the pack horses coming down and then coming around in a circle, you could pick, for instance, a far right focusing point to start with. And as the horses move from right to left in the frame, the camera will keep changing the points automatically and follow them if you're in servo. Once you manually select an AF point, that point will be the only one used for focusing until you change to a different point. It's also ideal for maximum performance when you're tracking a moving subject in AI Servo AF. Use the Spot AF Area mode to reduce the size of an AF point for even greater precision. Spot AF can be very useful for focusing on a specific area of a macro shot or when you're trying to shoot through foreground objects. Sometimes it's best to focus using a wider area. One example is shooting moving subjects. But for action stuff like this, what you may want to try is the expanded point. That means you're selecting one primary point, but you're giving the system expanded points around it so that if that primary point loses your subject, if it sees a plain part of the horse, not enough detail or whatever, it'll go immediately to one of the outer points. Zone AF is a totally new feature on the EOS 7D. It lets you select a cluster of AF points, which can be in the center or off-center. Within this zone of AF points, the camera will automatically choose the points to focus on the nearest subject covered by the zone. It can be extremely useful when you have a subject that would be difficult to pinpoint with a single AF point alone. Zone AF can be used with one-shot focusing, or when you're tracking moving subjects in AI Servo AF. Dave, here's something else I think you'll find really useful. With the EOS 7D, you can memorize a focus point so you can return to that position at any time with just the press of a button. Let's say you were using the expanded focusing points to follow the running horses and then wanted to shoot a portrait of a nearby cowboy. If you had memorized a focus point, you could quickly select it with a simple press of the button. It is also possible to memorize focusing points for both horizontal and vertical positions, or what we call orientation-linked focusing points. So this is an, op an application where you may want to try that feature. So you got to set the camera up that way by going into your custom functions and into the autofocus setting and setting orientation-linked focusing points. And all you have to do is just bring the camera to your eye and pick whatever focusing point you want. Now the camera is ready to take whatever focusing point you want for your horizontals yeah. and whatever focusing point you want for your verticals. You've got to set it once for both so the camera yeah, knows okay, what you yes, want to do. Yeah, okay. And then once you've done that, uh, the camera will just instantly change for you whenever you turn the camera horizontally or vertically. That's great because, you know, a lot of times I'm thinking I'm shooting this like, oh, I need a cover. And then I, I switch it. Exactly. Okay, now how would you have ever done that in the days before autofocus? Yeah, right. Even if you were good at it, you'd have been lucky to get one shot. It's just amazing. 